Hey guys, I'm starting a new painting. I'm gonna do eyes. They don't have to be my eyes, but I wanted to do it to teach you guys um, how to paint eyes. So, here we go. Now this is based off an old painting I did at Boom Citywide. <clears throat> the first thing I might do. So if you guys have seen it before, I don't think I have a photo to show you guys, but um, you guys have seen an old painting I did from Citywide and it's called, um, what's it called? Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. So, just gonna create that for you guys. I don't always draw, but just so, and especially with, with pencil, I don't always draw. Usually I'll draw it with paint. Um, let's imagine the nose is here because the pencil can mesh with the paint. So, enjoy. All right. So the goal of this painting is just to paint the eyes and the rest of it will be completely um, blurred and drippy. And So color scheme is everything in this piece because we are trying to communicate purity. So. Lord, I want a garden for you. I want a burn. I wish you guys can see what I'm what I was using so that um, so that you can follow where I'm getting my details from. But unfortunately Carly is not home so her phone is not usable. So what have you guys been up to today? Anybody? How's it going, Carly, Lily, what's up? Or Carla, I called you Carly, whoops. All right, so we have the general idea of where we want the eyes. Um, I'm gonna do a general idea of where I want the eyebrows because that always makes people look human. You'd be surprised how unhuman people look without eyebrows. Which is why some people go to the extent of tattooing their eyebrows. All right. Um, that should be good. Like I said, I don't need it to look like me. So um, in this case, I'm not gonna give the big, uh, I have this, this uh, bone in my nose that goes like here, but I just want the nose to come down and I'll make it a little bit smaller. Because sadly, when people can I, distinguish the eyes, they no longer feel connected. It's not like a universal painting for people. Okay, so um, like I said, usually I don't use pencil first, but let's see how this goes. Um, I like to experiment as I go. So first things first, I guess we can do some brown on the eyes. Um, where's my brown? This is uh, a color called Autumn. I absolutely, oh no, it's called Pueblo, but it's close to Autumn. Um, I love using it for eye tone, especially if it's brown or whatever. So if you were watching in the last painting, what we're gonna do first is lay down, um, what is the word? Base coat. When it comes to eyes, it's okay to start light because eyes, the iris portion is, uh, can, can look very transparent and it's just cool. So if I were to start dark, it would look more solid. I'm not sure if that would look as human. Let me know if the music's too loud. All right. 
There is a trick with eyes, but I am still discovering it as I go because they happen to be in a, in a dome, um, which is a different shape than a flat circle. Um, obviously from the side, it's not a flat circle, but still there's, there's a way to create it where it looks realistic um, with the nuance of the dome rather than a... a it is hard to talk and paint than a dome. All right, so we got our base coat down. Um, I'm gonna use loosely another brush. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go wider. I want this to be loose. And since we're doing Blessed of the Pure in Heart, um, I'm going to use pure colors. So pure colors that communicate is um, uh, light pink. So you could use a, like a baby pink. You can use uh, gray is fine. Well, I may not use gray, but we'll take it out just in case. Um, we got like blues, baby blue. I love this color. Blue is good, so this is like a sea mist. Let me aim the light over here. Sky blue is nice. And. Oh, and uh, yellow ochre. Yellow ochre is always good. All right, so let's bring the light back over. Um, <clears throat> so we have pink. Pink is good for skin tone. Depends on whose skin tone, but it still, it works well. If you watched the last video, I really love yellow ochre, and so does Bob Ross. Get it from him. Um, I will use a little bit of uh, what I used in the eyes, which is Pueblo. And let's take out some sky blue. Now, this is total experiment. I may totally wreck it. It may not look pure, but you could always add... Uh, no, that's not. You could always add white. White. So I'm gonna get my white ready to go. White definitely portrays purity. All right. I remember when I was in college, my teacher taught us to block out where there's shadow. Um, and deal with the details later. So we're just laying down color. Add a little bit of white. I'm going to uh, paint this portion in because it's under the eyelid. Even though that is not the color I want, I'm still just gonna lay it down as a base coat. Um, let's see what else is there. This whole thing is, this is where like the tear duct is and the eyeball is not. Let's give that bottom. Let's put in the nose. Yeah, 
is the Lord of my soul. Wish I could read and paint, but anyways, so we're gonna put some. Now I like to um, make it wet so that it drips a little, which is a huge part of this. Doesn't seem, there we go. Maybe if we tip it a little bit more. Let's hit the. Oh, is that too close? Y'all can't even see. Okay, let's move it back. I got paint on the table. Just take it off and keep working. So, I got some drips in there. I like it, I like it. Okay. I'm trying to do smaller painting so you guys can see it. Sorry if you can't see the whole thing, just let me know. So, it looks like we need some light colors over here. One of the main things I also learned um, from maybe college, I'm, I can't remember, but it was to, um, you know, like if you're making form, you have to move your brush in the direction of what you want. So I'm not gonna paint the face straight up and down and just fill in, you know, like this. I have to imagine the lines. If there's an eyelid, then the, my brush stroke should be an eyelid, if that makes sense. All right, so let's just add so Just keep building it up. I like this song. Now, I really want to do a bunch of these with uh, other people's eyes, different colored eyes, baby eyes or whatever. 
Um, especially if you're someone who wants to see more of God, then this would be a, a prophetic painting for you. That if you purify your heart by giving it to the Lord, you shall see God. So that's a fun way to do it. All right. So now I got the general idea of the face. Let's do. So now let's paint some of the eye. So what's cool about the white of the eye is it's not um, perfect white. So it's always good to add a little bit of blue. I don't want it this dark, but just so you can get an idea. I should probably um, use the smaller brush. Let's go to... So it's, it's an odd color to use, but that is the color of our eyes. Okay. Get some white. And then later on when the blue is dry, I can build it up. Tonight we feast, we eat, we drink, we laugh, and we go all out at Friday's Feast for Two. Feast on two apps, two entrees, and two desserts. So I'm just lightening it up. You shave most mornings, and you'll be shaving for decades to come. Gillette gets it. That's why a lot of innovation. Let's head over to this one. Same thing. It's about getting you a more comfortable shave every time. Invented in Boston, made and sold around the world. And now, get our razors delivered. Go to GilletteOnDemand.com. All right, I'm gonna wait for that blue to dry so that I can go over it because it doesn't really work otherwise. All right, and then um, over here, what I see in the photo is some tan. So I'm gonna use stain on, what I like to do is keep a uh, color, what's the word? Um, color scheme. So I like to use the same colors all throughout so that it, pulls the whole painting together. Okay, so we got the general idea of the... Just putting some of those um, smiling lines make these eyes a little bit happier. Again, because I'm not painting live, I could experiment a little bit more. 
I know that the skin is not perfectly smooth, so maybe adding some dots could add some texture in the long run. Um, if I don't like it, I could paint over it. Um, what I'm gonna do is um, get some, you know what, I'm gonna use like a midnight blue for the pupil. Because really the pupil is um, a hole. So I'm gonna make it blue first and then darken the areas with black later. Maybe it'll make it look hollow rather than a flat circle on the eye. My brush is too wet. So it's causing a little bit. Okay. I'm going to use, um, I love using this color, just black cherry. It's good for um, dark portions of the skin, for shadows rather than black. Let black be your last, um, your last color. So let's get some of the details here. Some people ask, how did I learn to paint? And for me, it was that I started to draw with paint first. And, um, and that taught me how to paint. So I love drawing on the canvas in moments like this, when you're doing small detail. According to the photo, I am a little bit off. This line here is actually supposed to be lower than this line. I'm not sure if I wanna fix that though. So we're gonna leave it. This is the eyelid. My, my painting will definitely have handprints, as you can see, which it wouldn't have if I was um, standing, if my canvas was standing upright. So a huge part of painting for me is if you understand what you're painting, you could do it a lot better. So right now, if I were to be painting eyes out of what I know, I wouldn't remember all of these details because I don't always remember to add eyelids and behind and um, the juices of the eye have their own, you know, like different things like that. Um, so it, it helps to get to know your subject matter so that you understand the line work of it. There is, this is the eyelid, so let's bring it. I love eyes because you can just work them until they look so deep and detailed.
trying to figure out what line I'm looking at here. Because there is, this is under the eye, this is on the outside of the eye. Okay. Sometimes when you just want to do like shadowing, um, you can wet your brush so that really you're just leaving a, um, it's not opaque, you're just leaving like a shadow. Water can also help blend. In this case, I needed it to. Sometimes I need a wide brush though to make, so I'll just change my brush up. some pink in here under the eyelid. Oopsie, too much water. Still too much wine because I actually left it on there. Something I also learned about eyes is that they say um, you always have to blur in the edge between the eye and the, the white of the eye um, because eyes don't really have a very sharp, sharp uh, outer edge. So it makes it more realistic. Just adding another layer of that brown. And 
use some brown. And grace you have been saved. You know what? I'm gonna do this first. A solid. I'm going to add brown even to this. Maybe I need a smaller brush. Janice! Yes, I remember when uh, Droopy used to teach me the stip stippling. I definitely could not... I learned it, but I couldn't keep it because I am a very lazy artist. So what I mean by that is I like to finish things quick and stippling took way too long. But I do remember those days in Men's Warehouse, him bringing his artwork. See, I brought out too much dark here. So you could just always go back, get an old color, and fix it. Then again, I did just use yellow ochre with a brown and it kind of made it green, but we'll go back later. Um, what was I doing earlier? I was doing this. So, oops, see, too much paint. So. I wish I had a really, really small brush that I could do this with. But like I said, I've been using these old brushes. Um, Janine, has uh, Droopy done any artwork since? He's grown up and become a man. Oh, you gotta challenge him. Tell him to do a stippling of one of his kids.
reflection here. odd reflection but I'm just gonna do the everything that I see in it I started off with blue because it wasn't an even white in the reflection again I wish I had the photo to show you guys I may have to wait for this blue to dry once again to add this but to make it a solid white. Whoa, that looks cool. All right, let's keep it moving. So. I love it when it starts to come together. Okay, so eyelashes. These can make or break your eye. Um, I'm not a huge fan of doing eyelashes, especially when it has to be small. So like I said, you wet your brush, you twirl it around in your paint, and that should give you the, the um, let me lay out where the black goes. So eyelid okay <gasps> here we go eyelash eyelash it could easily look like there's mascara on every lash which is why it's hard to do it for guys and you always, it gets lower here because it actually starts to, um, how do I do it? Like, it starts to come down. I don't really see the eyelashes here at the bottom. So I'll just put the idea of them there. That's that. dark in this area.
What am I doing here? Not bad. All right. Um, I like it. Eyebrows are the same as eyelashes. I feel like sometimes they, you can make them wrongly. So I'm going to do the initial once again with um, a wide brush and I'm gonna do it loosely with a lighter color. The general idea. All right, second eye. That looks so cool. Definitely the best I have done to date.
Oops. Added some yellow in there. So we'll just leave it as is. Okay. So now we are doing the second eye. Oh wait, to make it go deeper as well, where's the small brush? To go deeper, we will add our finishing touch of black. To this. So cool. All right, next eye. By grace you have been saved. So um, first things first, what did we do? We started with uh, the skin tone red. And we began to draw. So we need the eyelid. Bam. And the eyelid, again, the top portion of the eyelid. I have been wanting to do this painting again for a while. Again, if you're interested in getting your own eyes done or whatever, let me know and I will do them. Mm, since now this line and this line need to be parallel. So even though I was about to do an upwards, um, slant i need to actually correct it and bring it down this actually goes down to like right there okay it's actually pretty dark up here on this portion of the eye so i'm gonna darken it The pupil is a different shape as well. It needs to, um, what's the word? Angle this way and right now it's kind of angled to that way. Like this one. So now let's bring in the other skin tones that I was using earlier. <clears throat> Oh my. 
Bringing out the slightly bigger brush so it would blend a little bit more. Taking out some white here. Because this portion of the shadow is getting too big. There's an eye, the, the rest of the eyeball under the skin is right here. So there needs to be some kind of soft lining here to give that indication. I need more white. Here's my white. Carly's out hanging out, visiting a couple people. Well, guys, that is it for tonight. You can see the process. I'll definitely post a photo of the finished product when it's all said and done. But thank you guys for following. I'll show you again the photo I was working from. So this is my photo. And this is what I got so far. Let's see. Do, do. Let's see. Oops. So, cool. So that's what I got. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Peace. Peace.